Rarely does a single event cause a company stock value to drop 20% or more. Back in 1989, ExxonMobil, a freight company, caused the largest oil spill in American waters. Their stock only dropped 13%. Imagine that the biggest oil spill only caused a 13% drop. So it's not surprising to hear that only two groups in the history of K-pop have managed to cause their management company stock to drop more than 20%. And it wasn't even because of a scandal. It was because of their military enlistment. TVXQ or DBSK, once the biggest boy band in Asia, caused SM Entertainment stock to drop 36% when they enlisted in 2017. And BTS, now the biggest boy band and probably the biggest group in the world, tanked HYBE stocks by 27.5% after announcing their individual activities, which people misinterpreted as a hiatus. The biggest oil spill in America caused a 13% dent, while BTS and TVXQ cost a 27.5% and 36% dent, respectively. The question is why? How can an event that destroyed an ocean be less damaging than boy bands enlisting in the military? And why is it that important? How does that affect the idols under the company? And who benefits? The stockholders? The idols? The CEOs? Who? Well, let's understand. Hi! Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button. I would really appreciate it. I also want to make a disclaimer that I am not a financial advisor and this is not a financial advice. I'm just trying to uh, impart what I know about investing and about the stock market. If you ever want to get into investing, please consult your financial advisors, do your own research to know what you're trying to get into before you take the plunge. Okay, I didn't want to get into trouble. That's why I said that. Thank you and go back to the video. Number one. The stock market is highly speculative. The company's stock price is driven by the buying and selling of investors rather than the actual performance of the company. A clear example of this is when Hertz, an American car rental company, declared bankruptcy back in May 2020. Who in their right mind will invest in a company that just declared bankruptcy? Well, thousands of Americans, if not millions apparently, because by the next month, June of 2020, its stock price rose 825%. It peaked at $35 November of 2021. GameStop is another example. GameStop is an electronic store that closed many, many of its brick and mortar stores as Amazon and other online shopping stores dominated the market. GameStop stocks opened the year of 2021 at $4. By the end of January 2021, it went up $80. It was closing stores. Why would the value go up? Well, because a group of Redditors coordinated their buys. As more investors buy in, the value of the stock goes up. The other player is the short sellers. Short sellers sell a stock with a commitment to buy it back at a later date. So, assuming they sell GameStop at $5 and the stock price goes down to $2, then they earn $3. If it goes up to $7, then they lose $2. Many short sellers buy and sell stocks by the thousands, so a single transaction can actually make them millionaires. It can also make them lose millions. So, when short sellers sold GameStop at 4 and then the stock went up to 80 they were losing $76 per stock. So, to offset the loss, they bought more. So that when the value goes up, they can sell at a gain, offsetting their losses in short selling. So, evidently, the performance of a company doesn't have a direct effect on its stock. It does, however, have an indirect effect. This is point number two. The stock price is affected by investor behavior and investors could be affected by their perception of a company's future performance or the market movement in general. Right now, the global economy is a mess. 
no one wants to invest. This is causing the global stock market to tank. That's a big factor as to why many stocks are going down. But a bigger factor is the investors themselves. How they will behave will dictate the stock value, and how they behave is affected by how they think. A more concrete example is Disney. When Bob Shapek was appointed CEO back in February 2020, Disney stock tanked and it continued tanking. When Shapek was replaced by Bob Iger last month, Disney stock went up the same day. So obviously, Iger was yet to do anything. I mean, what concrete change can he do in a day? The rise in stocks was purely based on the perception that he was going to do something positive for Disney. The same thing happened to SM back in 2017. Concert sales, album sales were up with EXO, SHINee, Girls' Generation, and other groups of SM. That is compared to the previous year. Still, SM stocks went down when the most successful act, TVXQ, enlisted in the military. Their stocks dropped 36%. HYBE experienced the same thing when its stock fell 27.5% morning after BTS announced they will be doing individual activities, which was misinterpreted as a hiatus. Now, stock prices could move up and down on a daily basis as active traders buy and sell to make money. So when a company stock goes up 1, 2, 3%, maybe 5%, and then hikes up to 10 over a week or several weeks, that's an ordinary occurrence. However, a stock price movement of this magnitude overnight is most likely caused by an event like TVXQ's enlistment or BTS's announcement of individual activities. Those things affect the confidence of traders because those groups have such a huge impact in the future and bottom line of the company. Number three, stocks go up long term. Stock value of established brands goes up long term. Toyota was worth seven back in 1982. Now it's 140. Samsung was 15 back in 2010. Now it's worth $59. Google stock was 2 back in 2004, now it's $90. Of course, there are also some companies that went public and are now worth nothing. Stocks are highly speculative. It is not for the faint of heart and a lot of people make money, but there are also a lot that lose millions. Number 4. Will artists benefit from the rise of the company stock value? When a company stock value is up, they basically have more money to expand or reinvest. They could tap more expensive producers, construct or rent new offices with better facilities, do more creative activities, and others. The good reputation will also attract new and bigger investors. Again, this could go into improving their programs and resources to allow idols to create better music and better work. However, unless the idol owns a stock in their company, they won't directly benefit from the stock value rising. They will benefit indirectly. So, who benefits? So, the biggest beneficiary, of course, is the company. If a company stock goes up, they get more money so they can reinvest it in other things. They can work with more expensive producers, make more videos, set up more programs, um, acquire more equipment, get a new office, training programs, and stuff like that. So all of that will, of course, be passed to the idols or the talents that they are managing. And of course, that will mean more sources of income, both for the idols and for the company. Next beneficiary would be the... Um, stockholders so if you have stocks for uh, holding if you're holding some stocks and the stock goes up the value goes up then you can sell at, at a gain and of course that's it that you gain so you're a, you you benefited from from the stock value going up and lastly if you are a preferred stockholder so there are two different types of stocks common stocks and preferred stocks common stocks would be when you get voting rights and stuff like that preferred stockholders actually get dividends so you will get 
a share of the revenue usually every quarter some would do it every month very few would do it every month and then some would do it every year so if you are a preferred stockholder you will get a cut of that revenue so you benefited from that number six Lee Suman, Bang Shiyuk, Yang Yunsuk, and Park Jin Yong are the largest shareholders of their companies, but they aren't selling. So how do they benefit? Well, they can use their stocks as collateral for a loan. Many borrowers will use their stock portfolios to secure a higher funding amount, access a better interest rate, or simply improve their approval odds if they're taking a loan to buy a house or invest in a new business. They can also, of course, liquidate if they want. For this year, K-pop witnessed major developments in their market value. JYP Entertainment stock went up 50 from 38 at the beginning of the year. That's a $12 increase, 32%. Wow. SM stocks went up to 59.50 from 56.19, an increase of more than three. That is an increase of almost 3%. The losers are YG and Hybe. YG started a year at $41. It is currently holding at $34.50. That is a loss of $6.50 or 19%. Hybe lost a whopping 53.21% of its market value year to date. It opened the year at 267.57 and is now 125.19. The founders of these companies are also the biggest shareholders. JYP owns 15.2%, Yi Suman holds 18.46%, Yang Yun Sok has 19%, Bang Shi Yok has 31.8%. JYP's 15% ownership translates to more than 271 million. Yi Suman's 18.46% stake is 267 million. Yang Yun Sok's 19% is 109 million. This three combined totals 647 million. On the other hand, Bang Shi Yuk's 31.8 stake translates to more than 2 billion. So, yes, despite the loss of Hybe, Bang Shi Yuk is still richer than the three combined more than three times over. Aside from the ones already mentioned, some of the biggest scandals in K-pop that pulled down the stock prices of entertainment companies include EXO. When Chris Wu filed a case to nullify his contract with SM in May 2014, the company's stock plunged to $31 from $46. Still with SM, when news of Jessica leaving SM started floating around, company stock price ended up falling from $36 to 33. After former EXO member Luhan sued to nullify his contract November of 2014, company stocks dropped once again to 24. Shu Yu of TWICE also waved a Taiwanese flag on TV. JYP stocks dropped from 4 to $3.60 in a single day. When rumors of 21-member park bomb smuggling drugs in Korea began circulating in 2014, YG stock dropped from 38.50 to 32. Big Bang's rumored disbandment after releasing Steel Life caused YG stock to drop from 51 to 37 US dollars. And who can forget the Burning Sun scandal? YG stock lost 14% the day the scandal was disclosed to the public. Number 8. How was the stock value of Bang Shi Yuk, Yang Yun Sok, JYP, and Yi Su Man computed? To determine the value of the total stocks held by the CEOs, you need to know the market cap of the company. After you get the market cap, multiply it by the percentage of ownership of the CEO. That's it. You get the monetary value of their stocks. Now, there are two ways for you to know the market cap of the company. You can Google it, which is the easiest way, or you can multiply the value of the stock to the total quantity of the stocks. So, for example, if brand A stock price is $10 and there are 100 stocks sold, that market cap of the brand is 
$1,000. If the CEO owns 10% of the stocks, then the CEO's stock monetary value is $100. Number nine, can fans affect the stock value? Yes, and the most effective way is by buying their stocks. However, remember that the stock market is highly speculative. I can't emphasize this enough. And it also does not directly benefit your idols. More importantly, it's not for the faint of heart. If you want to get into stocks, do it for the right reasons, get educated first, learn more about what you're doing, and know the consequences. The indirect way of affecting the stock is by affecting the mindset of investors. If you hype your group, if you buy more of their CDs, then they will know that the company has somewhere to go. They, that will convince them to invest more. Number 10, you have to respect your money. So you do need to respect uh, your money and it has nothing to do with being materialistic or whatever it has everything to do with the fact that for you to get that money someone had to work for it either it is you or somebody else so you do need to respect that process and then realistically we do live in a world that requires money to offer we need money for everything we need to, to buy food <laughs> to uh, get shelter pay for our rent or mortgage uh, get quality health care and stuff like that we always need money so we need to be wise in how we spend it and um, we need to plan for the future so be if you do want to support your idol or your bias then it is better to just buy their cds or attend their concerts and the best thing would be to actually live the value that they're trying to impart or the message that they're trying to impart so if they're all about empowerment then empower yourself right <laughs> um, invest in yourself rather than anything else so key takeaways the value uh, of the stock of a company isn't really about their actual performance it's about the activity of the investors so the more that they buy and sell then the the value actually goes up now it is the investors that get affected by all other things so personally i i am an investor i invest i started getting into investment uh, into in, i started getting into investing when i start when i moved here and I, we do look at key signals on you know the statistics for how the company is doing if they are coming out with a new product or the market condition in general and then if all the signals are there i feel that it's going to go up then i buy so it doesn't really but then also there are speculative ones like what happened to to GameStop, it was just a group of people trying to push the value of the stock and it did go up so everyone started buying and then they started selling so there's a lot of things in play but rarely is it really or just all about the the performance of of the company it really is about what the investors perceive it's about how the investors think how we think it's going to go for that company in the future so if we think there's something to be gained we will invest okay so i hope you learned something again this is not a financial advice i was just trying to share what i know if you want, ever want to get into investing uh, please consult your financial advisors do your own research and uh, know something about what you're getting yourself into before you do it i don't ever regret uh, getting into it i if there's anything that i regret is that i got into it very late but I wish I learned about it earlier. If I started investing 20 years ago, <laughs> imagine the gains that I have right now. But at least um, I don't want to let another 10 years pass without starting it. It is beneficial for me. It's uh, securing my future, securing the future of my family. All right. I hope you enjoyed that. If you... Um, Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button. And if you want to communicate with me, if you have a violent reaction, <laughs> if you want to share what you know, please leave them in the comment section below. And you can also get in touch with me in any of the social me media links that you see on your screen right now. And we are uh, approaching Christmas very, very fast. I will be traveling next week. I'll still be, uh, be uploading videos. I'll be traveling next week to meet my family, spend uh, Chris uh, well, yeah, Christmas and New Year with my family. So um, I hope you do have a very happy and peaceful Christmas. And as I've said before, if you don't want to hear that, then please do know that I am wishing you a happy, happy holiday. Thank you. Till next time.